Hey everybody, it's a doctor here with Typical Manga Fan, and this episode of the Tep Typical Manga Review is going to be dedicated to Inside Mari, Chapter 61, I'm Going to Disappear. And, fair warning, the very first part of this is going to be very short, but the second part might go on for quite a bit. So we're going to start here, it's it's all black borders, we're looking at normally flashback, at least that's kind of how it presents itself, because we're seeing Isao on the street, Looking at Mari, Mailey Sal, by the way, Mailey Sal on the street, yeah, watching Mari walk away. Well, like I said, we'll get there. We'll get there. Like he sees Mari, it's basically set up like like the first chapter. Yeah. Like he sees Mari, he's going after her. Like wait, like he, for some reason his legs aren't working right. He he can't get his voice out. And then um, eventually Mari turns around and she has no face. She kind of does. You see like a slight mouth. See, you see eyes, and you can make out a nose. I'm not really seeing the mouth. You can see them on the left side. You can see it, like a little tinge, mm -hmm. like a little... Maybe. The... But yeah. it's basically presented as pure her face. Yeah. Mari turns around, walks over to Isao. Mari's, Isao is glad because he's finally getting to meet Mari, even though he's been looking for her for so long. Faceless Mari puts her hand on Isao's chest, and he starts to disappear. Yeah, she also has a mouth there, too, so there we go. Yeah. Um... And they actually went went as far as to uh, she, he went as far as to make a double page spread of her just putting her hand on Isao's chest. Yeah, and like he's part his body's like breaking up, like almost like foaming away, like he's thinking himself like he's he's disappearing. He does not want to disappear. Like even though we finally met, even though there's too much I want to talk about, we were looking for you, Mari. What happened? Please, no, I don't want to disappear. And then we just and that's where the chapter ends. Like that's literally it. Like Mari's just alone on the night street. Under a light, and that's that's it. And I think this chapter pretty much outright confirms what we've long suspected. I mean, I was about to say this in the first uh, phase, but because because I think we all kind of obviously knew what was going on. Is that well, this, yeah, is, I, this is in his like, head. This, this is in his head, obviously, or her head. His head, or her head, yeah. Um, and uh, so basically, it's this is what's going on. I think at the same time as the other chapters, a simultaneous like uh, we so we saw like there was a new Mario or the old Mario, whatever. There's, there's not it was not the Isao personality, and we see that in her head, this is what happened to the personality. It, she she got or he in the sense got deleted by what I can see is the original Mario or at least the one that controls everything or has has this much power because just one touch of the hand can destroy this personality, and it's kind of sad because I remember just like yeah, I, I don't think he wants to go. But um, but here it is. He's being destroyed. All his memories are going away. And you know, notice how memory, how many memories of it's Yori. Look at mm -hmm. that. It's Yori. Look, look, oh like, yeah, you're right. Yori. Yeah, you're right. Look, there's a lot of them with Yori. You're right about that. I didn't really think about that the first time I looked at this. Yeah. I mean, other than that, kind of like that prominent one in the middle there. Yeah. But they're like... all with Yori. In fact, I don't think there's any of them that's without Yori, except for that one. Uh, maybe that one. No, uh, that one with the. Makeup, or he she puts makeup on himself, but maybe maybe even then, you know, there might be Yori in there. I can't remember, but yeah, ninety nine percent of them have Yori in it. Um, so uh, yeah, this is basically I'm. It's a lot of things that happen in the chapter, but yet nothing at the same time. It's quite amazing how Inside Money manages to do this, but actually keep the suspense up. It's like again, nothing's happening. This is literally all in her head, and it's all happening at the same time as the previous chapter. Yet we we can find out one that. It's a continuation, uh, a, a poetic continuation of the first chapter in which she's about to turn around the the real, the so-called uh, real original Mari, and then we don't see her at all. I think, right, in the, in the first chapter, do we get, do we ever see her uh, face? We don't, we don't, right? Mari like she's or about Yuri? To turn. Uh, Mari. We, she's she's about to turn, and she never, we never, but we never see her face because that's when Isal wakes up inside Mari's body, right? Come on, I don't know. Let me let me pull that up real quick here because I've got, yeah. I've got the crunch here also because I can at least pull up the. Chapter one proper. Let me a moment. Yeah, uh, because uh, yeah, because this one she does turn, and we just see a this. Yeah, because um, chapter one opens with Isao as Mari waking up and seeing himself herself. Okay. Let's see here, and then then we flash back. Let's see here. Being a bit slow to load, so bear with me a moment. Besides, this is a. Interesting development because I think this very hardly explains hardly explains Yori's reaction of "Who are you?" But I wonder what this means for our Mari. Like, will it there be like a? I, and, and yeah, we we see Mari's face. We see Mari's face. Okay, so but in this one, it's distorted. It's completely distorted. Oh yeah, and it's this is 
is this her mind just falling apart or what's going on here? Why is it why is it distorted? Why do we why do we see a definition of her being it is not like it's completely black. It's like no, we see some of our facial features, but it's just like it's like an alien like because it's like white and all that. I looked at the um, chapter on like on another manga site with comments, and they were thinking like it's um like it's acting as if they're she's healing, but I'm thinking it's the opposite. It's, they're, 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 this is not healing. Yeah, because I remember correctly, the last one had an actual face. This one's just fa- it looks like she's falling apart, and maybe this is her mind just because fra- I think it's completely I think it's I don't know maybe it's fragmenting another personality who, who knows yep and remembering um, Fumiko is um maybe oh maybe that's what, over the so, edge. yeah yeah maybe maybe that's what's uh, going on although maybe uh, although I can see why they think it's healing because she's remembering stuff and maybe the more she remembers the more she's gonna come to terms with who she really is yeah but yeah at the same time it's it's so sad because she's crying and you know like, yeah. he, she's just basically like I reject it's, you basically in the yeah. whole big um, I don't want to die mode. It's really sad, and again, it's really sad when you see that most of his memories were with Yori. Uh, um, and of course, I, I, I'm so curious to see what Yori's reactions would be. Why Why do you think she did that, though? Why do you think she mm-hmm. basically deleted uh, Sao? I don't know, I mean, that's a question. Like, is, was it even on... Well, I, I was going to say it was even on purpose, but I don't... Like, someone uh, she's under purpose. control of, but... No, uh, I'm pretty sure it's on purpose. Yeah. The way the way they, they did, had it. I mean, like I said, if you're going for the healing angle, it could be maybe she doesn't need Isao anymore. But yeah, they're making things worse. Angle. Maybe Yasao is getting too close, and he's trying to re-block the memories. Yeah, the one, uh, yeah, like sh- you served your purpose. Like you, you're no longer the what, what I want anymore. Like you know, or you, or you have failed me for the last time. <laughs> you have failed me for the last time. No. Welcome to Orientation Day on the Dully Old Death Star. We're going to talk about Lord Vader. He <laughs> thinks he has the power to strangle us. Truth is, he doesn't. If he ever realizes, he. Kill us with his lightsaber. So for practice, so we're all going to pretend to be strangled. Vader gets the satisfaction of killing someone, and we stay amongst the living. <laughs> that's a that's a great robot chicken reference. Right? Yeah. I love that episode. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, so so that so that leads me to believe that the one who are, who's coming back, the one that came back, wasn't Fumiko. It was actually the original Mari. Oh, the the, the Mari that lie down Mari. Lie down Mari is what we're calling her. Yeah, there's no way in hell this is Fumiko. There's no way. Actually, like, here's a thought. If Fumigo did come back, would she, like, be the mind of a child? I, I, already, I think I posed that question. Um, yeah, oh, you did, you might have, yeah. Yeah, and, I, and actually, I, I posed that, like, that's the fact that she, you know, would she even recognize Ma, uh, Mari, uh, I mean, not Mari, Yori, would she recognize Yori? Why is she caressing her face? It's just kind of off. Um, I don't know, but, um, yeah, it, it's, it has a lot to take in if you think about it. Um, yeah. It's so confusing. I, like it, it's it's time. you tweeted it best I think nothing happens but everything happens to paraphrase yeah um well here's the thing like Yori could not recognize this person right right I think that's one reason why we wondered why it might be Fumiko see if, yeah if it was Mari then she wouldn't say who are she'd say Mari like that because she right, she mm-hmm. never referred to Mari as is uh, like Isao as Mari she called her Isao right. Komori cool by um, his last name, but yeah, same. Yeah, name. yeah. With but with Mari, she actually set out Mari, right? Like that. Yeah. Um, so it, again, if she if she recognized, and she should know, like she could tell, she was able to tell the difference. So you know, again, I know that's pointing out the fact that she know she she doesn't she doesn't really care about Mari anymore, and just only is actually kind of like doesn't uh, uh, unknowingly is caring more about uh, Misao, mm-hmm. or this you know. Or maybe, or maybe she, this is someone, another personality altogether. Maybe it's maybe it's a new, fresh one. Yeah. Maybe it's like you know, like you know, maybe there's. So here's the thing, like, I feel like your. I don't know, like, has this happened multiple times? Like, I know your the mom had the medicine, right? But yeah. at the same time, I feel like people would have noticed the fact that Mari would have had personality. Because because remember, this one personality difference caused him to isolate her fake friends, right? Because there was right. a whole thing with Momoka and shit. I feel like there was more fragmentations and more personalities. Well, they'd be a little more hectic. Get more it attention. depends on how this sort of thing even happens. Like, if it yeah. happened, like, regularly, like, maybe, like, on a weekly or monthly basis, then yes. But yeah. if, if years go by between the incidents... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. But, years, but if would, years, years go by. Then it would be hard to notice for anyone except for people who do know Mari, who... Yeah, if we go but by her mother that, was a, was evidently yeah. prepared. Yeah, but then there, that'd be like there'd be like only like maybe one other one more or more personality because Mari's not that old. Uh, so there may be like two more personalities that you know I guess. Um, so yeah, what do you think? Is this is the is the one that Yori is seeing out right now the new one, or the uh, the new one or the uh, the or Fumiko? 
and or like or or Light Down Mari. So we have three options. We got a completely new personality. Yep. We got Fumiko or we got mm-hmm. Light Down Mari. Which one do you think? I don't know. Like with Yuri's reaction, she would have recognized if it was Light Down Mari. I think. So I'm yeah. inclined towards either a new personality or possibly Fumiko. I'm I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go that it is Lie Down Mara, and the reason why Fumi- why Yori couldn't recognize her was again she has replaced, um, like the ideal she- version of Mari with with a Sal, and that's why she can't do it anymore. Yeah. And I, I think I like that one because again that really c- comes back full circle with Yori's character development. I really think so. Yeah. Because her saying "Who are you?" to someone who she completely knew about, it to like to like the point of just like being able to read the movements and you know and say like no you move differently so you can't be her even though she's basically her, then. Then I, I just I love that much more. So yeah. Um, w- okay. So I think the last thing we can kind of talk about is Isao. Where does he go? Is, is he going? Yeah, back I was thinking that. The, like, is he? Do we consider him dead after this point? Or I mean, is he, uh, are they going to the Peter Parker thing in Spider Man where he's just like in the in the recesses of, of the of the mind, like just like somewhere in like in like the the like the abyss, and that she can still become back? Um, it, but you know, or is he just gone forever, or like either scattered or absorbed into the main personality? Yeah, I mean that's you basically killed off the main character. Yeah, you, or resurrected did. or resurrected her. Yeah, but well, in, um, because this is the one that we got to know more about in in a sense in terms of the person in, in terms of like the mind, the way the, the thought process is. Isao is actually the the, the personality of Isao is the true protagonist. Mm-hmm. Where, but kind of like kind of like how in like in, in the movie Akira, we learn a lot about Akira, but it's actually. No, nah, he's not the main protagonist. He's like the, he's a titular, he's a titular. How do you try to pronounce it? The title, title character? character, titular title character. character. You got the idea. Titular, yeah, yeah, yeah. titular, titular character. Uh, same thing with Mari. Mari is the titular character, but she's not the protagonist, or at right. least not the Mari personality. You know, and that is, I think. So basically, what I see is, I, I'm so curious because how how are they gonna pull off? Because we, we, he's basically explaining what's happening, but at the same time, it's kind of like what's going to happen. You know. So there you go. Yep. Yeah, thanks. So that's. Um, except for such a short chapter, it does give you quite a bit to think about. Yeah, because it's, it's literally about the mind. Literally. Yep. In pretty much every way we can think of there, you're right. So the question, like I said, the big question is what comes up now? Like, like I said, is Isao gone? Which personality is taken over? Like we said, we got a few questions to work on here. I don't think it's a new personality because if you look at the mind, she's alone. She's not, she hasn't created anyone True. else. True. She's alone. You're right about that. That's a, If you're going by symbolism, you got a good point. Yeah, so... Um, and, 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 or at least there's only one that's visible, and of course I think the lighting is what matters too. But um, but yeah, I think what the most important parts are the the fact that Sal's gone, and we this is showing us it's it's come full circle from what he originally saw. So that that shows you that the last what he saw in in the first chapter that was only in the mind. That mm-hmm. so this again you said basically confirms everything that we thought because he's just a personality. Pretty he, much. He is the um, copy of the real Sal, and also um, the f- why. Okay, the other thing we copy was why did she delete him? And we probably think he just he's not serving a purpose for any longer needed for whatever reason. And it's a lot of possible explanations explanations for that. Maybe he's getting too close to the truth. Maybe um, maybe he's because remember he's also diverting from the original supposed original reason why he's created. He was supposed to be the opposite of the of Mari herself, and right. so but now that he's he says he's becoming a mix. Well, then that's not why he, she made him anymore, right? All so right, so it could comes, very well be a case of you have failed me for the last time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, why is her face shadow, uh, like, all dar- uh, dark and distorted and all that? It's it's basically distorted. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, it's it's. I think that's the best way you can say it. It's, not, it's actually not supposed to be um, a, a shadow. It's supposed to be distorted. You can see her face being pulled apart. Um on that, on that, you know, on that double piece spread, you can see the mouth, you can see the nose. It's just being, it's just getting distorted, um, and then, um, which means he can't see her in a way. What does that mean? He can't see her, quote unquote, uh, yeah. quote unquote on the sea, um, and then of course the fact that she's alone now, yeah. and he's and he's gone, he's gone. So where's he going? Yeah. I mean, back, there's, to be honest, there's a lot of things you can pull off from this chapter. Yeah, to be honest, that's gonna be. I think I almost with Yori's reaction combined, I'm almost leaning towards Fumiko now. Is it Fumiko? Because I don't think that she doesn't well, have... Well, like I said, that's what I'm leaning, leaning toward. Okay, okay. And that's, like I said, we we wondered before if Fumiko, if she came back, would she be like a, a regressed personality, child personality? But it may not be the case. If, 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 okay, so what, here's my argument. If Fumiko is, is quote-unquote grown up, then is she even the Fumiko that we know? In that case, is she really Fumiko well, at all? Because we Fumi- only know Fumiko's Fumi- a child. I was right? about to say, the Fumiko we know is like, what, five years old tops? Yeah, 
But if she never got to, if she, when the when the first personality change happened, that's the that's the real thing. When did Fumiko right. go, and when did Mari come in? Um, was it at five when the mom took over? Because that thing, like she's caressing, she's caressing Yuri's face. Fumiko wouldn't do that unless she unless she had some type of like Mari's personality in her. In which case, if that, if that, if that I mean, in which case, then she's not really Fumiko if you think about it. Yep. Yeah. So it'd be like Fumiko slash Mari, like the, like a combination of the two. Not really Fumiko in the truest sense, because in a way, because the problem with the audience is that since we only see Fumiko yep. as a as a child, and we only knew know of her of, the, of from that point, of, and we don't know when she started changing, we cannot associate the personality of Fumiko with any type of mature uh, mature like uh, mindset. I Meaning, the only way we can say, "Hey, that's Fumiko for sure," is if she does act like a child. Yes, and, and if anything, the memory thing should work because if Sal can remember, right? So yep. maybe the other the way around work where. Fumiko wouldn't remember anything that Sao did. Uh, although it's it, this, this is an implication. Uh, we don't know. Like Mari seems to have created. Like this is the subconscious. So we don't know what's intentional or what's accidental or what's like you know intentional in terms of a subconscious level. Um, but from what I could tell from the subconscious, that this is creation of the Sao's intentional, yeah. and that she did. She was able to observe. Yeah. what Sal was doing because otherwise you know, how would you do the whole you have failed me for the last time thing and well, you didn't know they failed you at all right well actually yeah but I also it's like sparking the memories of Fumiko maybe bringing sparking all this too which yeah. doesn't necessarily require outside observation so yeah, yeah so be like she's like oh my gosh all the com- memories coming back so whatever uh, Sal's doing it's not it's not what doing what I want him to do so yeah. he's gonna have to go because chances are that's what he's doing he, he's the one causing all this yeah. so yeah I mean there's a lot of things that we, we ha- a lot of questions are being are, are, are just coming out I mean I, don't, I think we're even looking more than the, than the author implied um, I mean intended for but uh, yeah as, as we have said before nothing's happening but everything's happening <laughs> so yeah uh, that's yeah. Two weeks now, waiting for two weeks uh, to uh, the next chapter. Yep. Thanksgiving, Thanks. though. Well, Thanksgiving won't affect Japan. Oh, yeah, 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 I know, but just for us, like, for yeah. me, so, at least for me. Hey, actually, Thanksgiving, this year around, Thanksgiving is actually my birthday. Oh, uh, early happy birthday, then. Thank you. I said, just, yeah, so we said at least we'll be able to get chapters and such going that time around, so. Because like I said, that's just purely American holiday. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. That's been a review of Inside Mari, Chapter 61. That's it. Like you said, like nothing happens. I might just add, make your tweet my little opening comment for this video <laughs> if I can find it again. Oh, I say I can find it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, like I said, it's been a review of Inside Mari. You have Chapter 61. Go ahead and take us away. Bye.